my name's Mark McGowan. I'm the Ice taxi driver. I'm here with my son, and we're going up to uh, to, to Manchester to protest at the um, Tory Party conference. We're on a train here with Unison. Um, my wife worked in the NHS, and she was supposed to come up with my son, but she wasn't feeling well this morning. We got a little daughter, and she she ended up looking after. So I've come up here with with my son, but. Um, we, 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 we want to protest against the NHS, against the privatisation, against the outsourcing, um, against private profiteers, and we are on a virgin train. We're on a virgin train. Can you imagine it? A train full of union people going up on a virgin train. The very man, Richard Branson, the hairy, hairy balloon with his orangutans, who is with Jeremy Hunt right now, outsourcing, making up contracts. He's got, he, he owns all the, um, the doctors in the, in, the, in the commissioning board, so they have direct access to where the contracts are going. He got the, the contract for Devon, which, is, which includes the palliative care of dying children, children with disabilities. The man is a monster, and he's providing us with a train, because he's a carpet bagger, because all these trains the infrastructure which should belong to the people, that he, he earns money, he earns money, Richard Branson earns money out, out of taxpayers, because all these trains are subsidised, this is where his profits are, and, and, and he's, they're all up there, sitting there, George Osborne, George Osborne, he's out this week, he said that um, he wants to, to fight a cap on bankers' bonuses. We ain't talking about their wages, we're talking about their bonuses. He ain't even talking about ending their bonuses. Just sit down, let's have a talk about how much you can get. And he wants to fight that. And the irony, the irony of it all is that the taxpayers are paying the legal fees for that challenge. While poor people, have, they've had their, they've had their um, legal aid taken away. Uh, the, you, can't, you can't get legal aid for employment issues, for, for medical negligence, but the rich bankers, they get paid. They get, their, they get their lawyers' fees paid. You can't make it up. David Cameron's out, he's talking about like giving people with, who, who want a £600,000 mortgage, want to pay like, like he, he's interested in helping people who don't need help. This thing for hard-working people, there are people in this country who are working for nothing on workfare schemes. They, 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 the Royal Mail's been just been sold off. And the irony of the Royal Mail being sold off, that they, they put it up in the city of corruption, the city of London said, yeah, we'll buy it. And they bought it. Do you know, do you know where the money has come for, for, for the people, the bankers, to buy it? It's free government money. It's come through quantity of easing. It's come through the, the sale of bonds. It's like, it's like, that is taxpayers' money. And they, and they bought the Royal Mail with it. You can't make that up. But anyway, the privatisation of the NHS is absolutely horrendous. The fact that, the, 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 fact that um, um, uh, the only way that private companies can make a profit is to come in and completely dismantle all of, all of the, the structures, the, 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 the people that matter, the nurses, they're going to be taken out, they're going to be like, replaced with with no, no pensions, no contract rights. They're gonna be like on, on, on zero hour contracts. They've already privatized, there's, there's Cambridge's up, uh, uh, Peterborough's up, they're, they're, they're writing off PFIs. Just listening to a guy in there and he was talking about austerity. And austerity is ideological, it's fictional. It's completely made up. And, and, and Paul Cookman was on Newsnight about two years ago and he said it, he said, under the cloak of austerity, the primary purpose of this government is to move public money into private pockets as fast as humanly possible. And that's what they're doing through the privatisation of, of the NHS, of the Royal Mail. They've even privatised welfare. They've got Mr Atos and A4E. Do you know what I mean? These people are being paid, are being paid to kick people off of benefits, to kick disabled children, to, to take away their benefits. That's the welfare reform bill. Anyway, I'm the Ice Tech Driver. We're going to Manchester. We're going to protest against the um, against the outsourcing. This is the big. This is the new big buzzword: outsourcing, which basically means privatisation. But they call it outsourcing. It's just another word. And the other big word that they that, that this whole 
this conference above the door when it says for hard working people because they 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 changed the narrative they changed the narrative Tories don't talk about jobs they don't talk about jobs they talk about work and work they want you to work for nothing they want you on a slave labor death camp working for 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 Tesco's or in a pound shop where everything in a shop costs one pound except you I'm the United's taxi driver. See you in Manchester.